Okay, dancers, so this next exercise um, is going to have a planche incorporated, and Brooke's going to explain a little bit about how you can work on your planche. So uh, it's going to help when you go out and the side doesn't go down. You want to keep your leg and your back connected. So instead of dropping, you go down together. Pull it and back up, and bring your back up with your leg. Okay, so go um, back into your arabesque, um, Brooke. So your back's gonna be up against your leg here. And uh, like Brooke said, think of a string between your shoulder and your foot, so it's going at the same time over. So if her back decided to go further than her leg can go, that's when you're gonna fall. So if her leg can only go that high, come back up, that's where you would stop. Okay, so keep your back up against your leg, so you're going over in one piece, and then up in one piece. So it depends a lot about like your hamstring flexibility and your back too. So just, you want to practice keeping it connected and then um, as you become more flexible and strength, you can increase it. All right, so give that a try, practice your planche, and we're going to explain before we do it with the music on um, this warm up. So we'll start in fifth and go passe and then take it across the body and out Attitude to the front plie, grab your ankle or your calf or wherever to stretch your leg to the front, carry it to the side, then turn it in and out of the hip socket four times, and take your time where, um, wherever you need to stretch in your hip flexor. Then try on the count of three to lift it even higher when you let go of your hand. One, two, three, lift slowly, control, bring it back up to passe. Hit your arabesque line as high as you can before you go over into your planche. And then recover, come back up. And then we're gonna go over again, but this time all the way down for more of a stretch and your leg's gonna go into attitude. And you can grab onto your ankle, um, wherever your flexibility range is. And then walk your hands out as you extend to come back up and find your attitude line, releve, work on your balance, and always remember to recover. As you come out of it, plie, extend your arabesque, and finish. So let's just do your attitude line too, so if Brooke can coupe behind her ankle, and a good way to find your attitude is just lift straight up from there. Up. So you have that angle. So go back down, Brooke, again to your, so here is, her thigh is not gonna move, and this is the shape of her foot that's going to stay, and it'll lift up in one piece, and then that should be your attitude line, and back down. So if you find um, a mirror that you can watch yourself, practice that line as well, and then we're gonna go into the warm up. Okay, dancers, starting in fifth, breathe out, and begin. taking out of the hip socket and in. And you can have your own timing here. And then remember you wanna work on your control that when you let go of the leg, think of lifting it even higher and then controlling it down, bring it back up to passe. And hit your arabesque line, your back up against your leg as far as it can. Now remember one piece over that string from your shoulder to your toe and then up, and then you're gonna go over again. This time you're gonna go all the way down to the ground, stretch your back leg, attitude. And then coming up, attitude line. Work on your balance, pressing down into the floor, lifting up from the top of your head then work on your recovery from that. Plie, breathe, and let's do the other leg. Six, breathe, seven, eight, passe. Take it across the body. Attitude, plie, and extend. 
take it to the side. And now you're going out of the hip socket and then back in rotating from the top of the hip. the flexibility in your hip and then the strength to hold it. And back up against the leg. Imagine that string shoulder to your toe. Good. And all the way over this time. Find your balance. And then when you're ready, extend to arabesque, plie, and recover. Good. 